log in. Hi, Facebook. Okay, so it looks like everything is good. So um, I wanted to talk today about the um, system of prayer. This is part of um, the reset that I just launched the um, bundle. It's five videos and an ebook that comes with it. And then these six videos that I'm doing this week um, go along with it as well. So um, there are some elements that have to be present in any type of prayer. I mentioned this yesterday. Um, regardless of the type of prayer, hello, Instagram, thanks for logging in. Hi, Facebook. You guys, I don't really like to do the uh, corporate hello, so just hello, everybody. <laughs> and um, regardless of the type of prayer, and these elements and I talk about more in detail in that ebook that I just released, but um, I wanted to really uh, mention the fact that your revelations your the things that you're aware of are the things that you can affect you can't very well change something that you don't even know exists and um, i think everybody understands that however what i think we miss sometimes is how to go about getting that revelation and so instead of getting the revelation we just kind of pray <laughs> generally uh kind of just spread our prayers all around and we pray for everything from A to Z. These are not specific prayers. How will those get answered? And so um, I really talk about that and the elements that need to be um, involved when you pray in this ebook. So the revelation on what you're praying for also directly affects the authority that you can take over a situation. You know, I can speak to something generally like to a group of people, for example, if there's something going on, like, hey, stop it. But if I want some specific thing to stop, I need to be able to see, first of all, who is doing it, what they're doing, and be able to speak to them directly. Um, you know, hey, you, you know, so-and-so, stop doing X, Y, and Z. And the same is true in prayer. Whether you want to cause something to start, whether you want to stop something from happening, you still have to have the the revelation of what is occurring now and what you want to occur instead. And these are all done through systems. Everything is set up in an orderly manner and things do not just shift from, from you, you have to be able to identify the system that something is working in now and what the system is that you want it to, to be in place of the thing that is there. Um, I want to mention just very briefly, um, in Matthew, there's a passage, Matthew 13, Jesus is talking and he said, he talks about the uh, mustard seed. And he said, it's the smallest of all the seeds. And yet look at how tall it grows. And it grows so big that every animal can find shade under its branches and can live in its branches, right? And so um, if you look into that scripture, you can also look into, um, you can also look into Daniel chapter four and you can also see that that a similar dream was given to Nebuchadnezzar. He had a, a dream about this tree, about all of these birds and all of the animals on the ground that were coming to live underneath its branches or live in its branches. And that tree speaks to an altar. We build altars through prayers. And if we can understand that system, the system of altars, that's a system within a sister, a system within a system, the altars are built through prayer. And there is a way that you can take something very small and it, you can make it grow very large to the fact that you have full dominion um, over things. And um, yes, thank you for that prayer, Instagram. Um, and so you can, you can actually build this your own self. And so this is what is meant by generational blessings. You can actually take something, no matter how small you have, been given and turn it into something very large and that's done through the system of prayer it's done through building an altar through the system of prayer so the lack of revelation as well the opposite is also true so if the lack of revelation that you have on something means that you have less authority to address whatever is occurring and so you'll often see this in prayers that are prayed towards the fruit of what people can see so they pray at the thing that they can see but they miss the things that they cannot see, their roots. And if you want to actually replace that tree with something else, you have to uproot the one that is there. And so you can pray against the fruit all day, the things that you see, 
but that doesn't actually bring you any lasting change, any um, meaningful change, because you have to be able to address the things that you cannot see, the root system of that tree. And just really quick, everything in the natural mirrors something in the spirit realm. There is a law, there is a system set up already in the spirit realm that is affecting the way that things work in the natural. So, for example, in the natural, everything works on a system, the seed is planted, and everything that this, the seed needs to become a tree or to become a plant, it's contained within the seed. Even though I can't see inside of the seed, I know if I plant the seed, something beautiful is going to grow, right? And so we we need to be able to understand that if we cannot um, tap into these types of spiritual principles, we're not going to be able to affect anything meaningful, lasting with our prayers that we pray in the natural. And so... Um, and so if you know anything about the way that trees work in the natural, they actually touch each other with their roots. They, um, they are able to draw nutrients. They're able to draw water even from other trees. So if one is lacking, they can pull on it. They can pull from another tree. So one is planted by a river and, you know, there's many, many trees all the way through a valley, for example, that the tree on the farthest end can still get nutrients, can still get water. And the same is, that's a spiritual principle that is being shown to us in the natural world. And so sometimes it's not just enough to be able to identify even one tree or one system's roots. It's not even enough to do that because what you need to do, um, what you need to do is to be able to identify the the thing that's feeding this entire system. Why is this tree, which is so far from the river, able to get nutrients, able to get water? And if again, looking at this through the spiritual principles, through the um, set up um, uh, systems that the Lord has put in place as to how things will work, you're going to understand this, that, that it may not even be enough to take out that one tree or that one system. And so again, your authority over what changes, what shifts, what stays the same, has to do with the revelation that you get. It has to do with the the uh, your ability to see and and to partner with these systems that have already been set up in place and have been in place for a long time. So again, there's three main um, there's three main things that need to be present every time that you pray. Again, regardless of the type of prayer, it doesn't matter if it's a personal prayer, an intercessory prayer, travailing prayer. It really does not matter. There has to be three things that are there every time. And I go through each of those three um, things in detail, both in the video and in the ebook that go along with the reset. But today, I would just want you to understand that your revelations on the way that you pray, you should always have a revelation of what you are praying for first and how you want it to change and how that corresponds to the heart of the Lord and what his plans are for the thing. Um, Prayer is the authorized system of heaven touching earth. It's the authorized way of heaven invading earth. You'll notice throughout the Bible that God didn't move unless he first of all told his prophets, and he would often say to them, prophesy to, or set your face towards and say. He would tell them, start speaking out the things that I want you to, to say, that I want to see done, because He God has given, it says that, the heavens of the heavens belong to the earth, and yet the, uh, the heavens of the heavens belong to the Lord, and yet the earth belongs to the sons of man. And so the things that we want to see changed on the earth, we have the authority to, the legal right to change and to um, shift. However, having that authority isn't enough. We must know how to implement it. We must know how to appropriate it. And this has to do with revelation. The lack of revelation will always hinder the effectiveness of prayers because um because in the spirit world, everything is unveiled. Nothing is hidden. Everything is able to be seen. And um, and so you cannot fake it there. You can fake it to people. People may not know whether or not you're actually praying out the will of the Lord. People may not know if you actually have the word of the Lord on a certain matter. You're just saying some words that sound really good to their ears. But in the spirit world, it's not that way. Every Everything there knows whether or not you have the authority whether or not you have the the ability to actually make change. And even if they don't want it to change, it will change at your word. And so, again, the, the revelation 
of what what it is that you want to see replaced and put into the system that's already there is going to be necessary in order to have real meaningful and lasting change and as well altars are as i mentioned before that you erect altars through prayer altars are a system that operate within a system altars are the system that operate within the system of prayer and they are transferable to other people they are transferable to your generations they can be passed on and this is why um, throughout the bible you're going to find that god was a make, making covenants with generations he would say with you and, and your descendants or you know things would happen to the third and fourth generation or a thousand generations because the lord thinks generationally and these altars that you erect so again imagine the tree that you you know the smallest mustard seed but it turns into this huge tree look it up in matthew 13 and if you look it up there you can see that this system it is not only going to um feed water shelter all of the things that are in your life right those birds and those animals to that tree but you can transfer that to your children so that they can continue to do the same thing. They can continue to water that uh, ground that you planted your tree in and it can continue to grow. And it's not just about the amount of, um, the altar is specifically related to the amount of territory and authority that it would have attached to it. And so imagine that you have generations coming after you who know how to pray, who know the system of prayer, who understand uh, revelation and how this affects prayer, how it affects effectiveness in prayer, and um, and being able to pass that down. You can pass this down through through generations, and it can continue to grow and grow and get more authority, and it can have more effect on territories, more effect on people. And so that is um, primarily the thing that I wanted to make sure that is understood in this video. Again, if you want to know more about this, you can check out the reset. I'll make sure that it's um, linked. It's already linked in my bio on Instagram, and I'll make sure that it's put into this video on Facebook Live, and it will be on my YouTube channel as well. So, um, you guys, I hope that this video has helped you kind of understand the system of prayer a little bit more, the, the um, way that revelation affects prayer, and as well as the fact that there are systems within systems. And this is true of many of the systems, if not all of the systems, uh, they, they have other things, layers within them that uh, we can tap into and uh, use to, to legislate and to do business with the Lord. So, all right, you guys, that will conclude this Facebook Live. Stay, um, if you don't follow me already, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Facebook. I'll be doing these live videos this week every day at 9 um, that go along with the reset. So, all right, see you guys tomorrow.